Hey everyone, Caleb here. Welcome back to TFH Kids Church Online. We're super excited to be with you today. Now today we're gonna be talking about overcoming and facing our fears, but before we do that, we're gonna dive in and worship together. Now I love to worship because it's one way that we can show God how much we love him. So jump up on your feet, make some room, and let's worship together. Welcome back, nice worshiping together. Now, I've got a question for you today. Is there anything that you're afraid of? Maybe like me, you're afraid of the dark or afraid of being alone sometimes? Well, the Bible says that God is always with us no matter what we're facing. Isn't that such good news? So, let's take a look at the team from Connect HQ and see what they're learning about and how God helps us to face our fears. Here we go. What's... what's going on? Okay. Ha ha, funny prank guys, hilarious. Come on Mike, I know this is one of your pranks. I don't know how you managed to carry me down to the basement while I was sleeping, but you've really outdone yourself. Wait. Antique gravy boats? Since when does Connect HQ have antique gravy boats in its basement? Where'd the chair go? Uh, who's there? Uh. <gasps> we are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, 
make the connection. And you never know what might happen. My name's Alyssa, and this is the time I learned how to conquer my fears. Ah! Tony! Oh, nope, I'm not Tony. I'm the thing from the basement. What? Oh, come on, you heard me. That's a, that's a yell you got on you. <laughs> what? Well, you know what, listen, I, I can understand the confusion. If you just take a seat on the decorative ceramic chickens, yeah, right there, um, I'll explain everything. My grandma collects ceramic chickens. Well, that's probably why it showed up here in your dream. <laughs> no, I'm I'm not dreaming. Wait, what do you what, what do you mean you're not dreaming? Can you explain a, another place in the real world where there's going to be your grandma's chickens and then connect HQ records all in the same place at the same time? Yeah, see, you made this place up in your head on account of all the uh, the fears you've been facing. <laughs> I <laughs> I'm not afraid of of, of anything. Oh, come on now. Your grandma and grandpa asked you to stay at their house uh, while they're gone on vacation. And, well, you've been afraid of that place ever since you were a kid. Okay, but can you blame me? The place is creepy. The floorboards creak, they eat weird food, and I'm pretty sure there's a monster living under the bed and something in the basement. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> afraid not. Okay, so how do I get out of here? You know what? That is an excellent question. You see, to wake up in the real world, you have to fall asleep in the dream world, okay? And there's only one place you can fall asleep here, and that's on the top floor, and you're gonna have to face some fears to get up there. Or I could just wait and wake up on my own. Oh, no, mm -mm. no can do, no can do. See, fear is not the boss of you, okay? And when you feel yourself getting afraid, you just tell yourself fear can't stop me from doing what I need to do. Fear can't stop me from doing what I need to do? Yep, yep, you'll get the hang of it as you go. Um, what you want to do is you want to take the stairs up to the next level up there, okay? And they're right next to the collection of clowns. So, uh, good luck, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna need it. Oh, I don't want to wake them up. Every time I woke my grandparents up as a kid, I'd always get roped into these three hour long stories. Huh? What? Who's there? Alyssa? <gasps> Alyssa, is that you? Oh, Alyssa, come over here. Let us get a good look at you. Oh, oh, oof. Is that what the kids are wearing these days? I'll never understand youth's fashion. Well, it's better than the punk face she went through in middle school. Well, that's for sure. Uh. <laughs> I'm so sorry for waking you both up. I was just trying to get upstairs. I'm afraid that so I- You're afraid? What, what, what are you afraid of? No, no, I'm not afraid. I, I didn't mean that. What no I meant to say No granddaughter of ours should let their lives be ruled by fear. Rod, tell Alyssa that story. That's really not necessary. I know just the story you're talking about. Alyssa, come in, pop open your ears, and listen to this story granddad's got for you. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Searching God's word for things to discover This book is alive Full of answers and godly advice This book is alive See the wonderful stories inside Every day I'm searching Read through history and poetry How much Jesus loves me God's great story lives There's no other book like this This book is alive. After God rescued his people from slavery in Egypt, he led them across the Red Sea and performed miracles along the way to Canaan, the land he had promised them. God told Moses to choose 12 spies to go into Canaan to find out about the people, the cities, and the land. The spies explored the land and found it was as good as God had promised but they also saw some things that made them afraid. After 40 days, the spies returned. They described what they saw. The land flows with milk and honey. There are pomegranates and figs, and the grapes are so big, 
two of us had to carry them between us on a pole. Great, let's go. We can't go. They are giants, they're so big, we look like grasshoppers next to them. And the city's walls are so high, we don't stand a chance. By the time the 10 spies finished talking, the giants seemed bigger and the walls seemed taller. The spies and the people were afraid. But two of the spies, Joshua and Caleb, remembered God was with them and he could do anything. God is stronger than any giant. He'll help us take the promised land. But it was too late. The people were afraid and forgot God was for them. Did God bring us here just to let us be killed? Let's go back to Egypt. But the land is good like God promised it would be. Don't turn away now. That's right. With God's help, we can't lose. Don't be afraid of giants. But the Israelites didn't believe Joshua and Caleb. In fact, they wanted to kill them. They had forgotten the miracles God had done for them when he rescued them from Egypt. So Moses begged for God to forgive the people. God heard Moses and forgave the Israelites. But they wandered in the desert for 40 years, one year for every day the spies had been gone. Are we there yet? Nope, still got 39 years left. Out of all the Israelites, only two men lived to see God's promised land. Joshua and Caleb, the spies who stood up and had great faith in God, even when they were standing alone. Where'd this chair come from? Well, this is a dream, dearie. Chairs appear. Alyssa, everyone feels fear sometimes. That's for sure. The Israelites feared to go onto the promised land because of the giants. Well, that fear was understandable. They were giants, but God called them to go into the land and fight for it. But the Israelites didn't trust God to take care of them. They let their fear control them. No matter how afraid we might feel, we must never let it stop us from what God told us to do. Because God will always be with us, no matter what fears we're facing. Sometimes it's difficult for me to remember that. Thanks for sharing with me. Oh, you're very welcome. Now go along, get up to whatever it is you youngsters do nowadays. Oh, and say hello to your great aunt Dottie while you're upstairs. Great aunt Dottie? She's upstairs. She sure is. Oh, and I hear she's making something delicious. <laughs> okay. Hi, Aunt Dottie. Ah, let's see. You're just in time to try my newest creation. Take a seat. Go on, try some. I know you're not afraid of a little soup, Lissy. There's a gummy bear in it. Dreaming. So what do you care if there's a gummy bear in your soup? That's a good point. Here, I have something I need to teach you. I learned this verse long, long ago. It's from the first chapter of 2 Timothy. Repeat after me. 2 Timothy 1, 7. 2 Timothy 1, 7. God has not given us a spirit of fear. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-discipline. But of power, love, and self-discipline. God didn't create you to be a fearful person, Alyssa. He made you to be full of his power, love, and self-control. So that means I can trust God to always be with me and give me the courage I need to help me face my fears. Now you've got it. Well, how is it? It's really weird. Ah, oh, well. Thanks for being brave enough to try it. Now it's your bedtime. You better get upstairs. Finally, I'm so ready to wake up. Just watch out, Lissy. You might not be alone up there.
Ugly boogly oogly 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 Oh, oh, come on, you're supposed to be scared of me. I was scared of you, but I've learned a few things recently, Mikester. Mm -hmm. God is always with me, and he didn't create me to be a fearful person, which means fear can't stop me from doing what I need to do. Ah, fear can't stop me from doing what I need to do. <laughs> Not you, me. Uh -oh. oh, though you are a figment of my imagination, so sure. Oh, oh come on. I worked on this for months. I had this whole big scare plan. Could you at least like, I don't know, pretend to be scared? Like a little bit? Out. I'm going to bed. Fine. Just a little bit. No. Uh. <sighs> Thanks God. And now. I gave up pranks, but it's almost too easy. Ah! 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 Are you Mike or are you the Mikester? What? What's a Mikester? Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Wait, you weren't planning on pranking me, were you? Uh, uh, uh mm, maybe. Help me gather everyone in Connect HQ. I just had the craziest dream. I can't wait to tell you all about it. Hi everyone, my name's Alyssa and I'm a part of Connect HQ. I wanted to share this verse I learned today with you. Say it with me like this. 2 Timothy 1, 7. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-discipline. So what does that mean? It means that God didn't create us to be fearful people. He created us to be strong, loving, and self-controlled. The Israelites were afraid of the giants in the promised land, and they let that fear control them rather than trust that God would be there for them and take care of them. But we don't have to let the things we fear control us. No matter what we fear, whether it be creepy basements, creaky floorboards, weird food, or monsters under our beds, we can trust that God is with us and that God's given us the courage we need to face our fears. So the next time you find yourself facing off against something really scary, remember this. Fear can't stop me from doing what I need to do. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. This dream keeps getting better and better. So the Mikester in your dream was me? Yep, and I haven't even told you about the gummy bear soup. I'm listening. I'm happy to report that even though I still find my grandparents' house a little creepy, I've been staying there the past few days and everything has been perfectly fine. Although I might still check for Mikesters under my bed when I go to sleep, just in case. Today we learned about how God can help us overcome our fears, but maybe you haven't made that choice yet to follow Jesus with your whole life. If so, you're missing out on all the awesome ways God can help us live courageously. Do you want to make that choice today? If so, all you have to do is remember the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that decision today? If so, be sure to talk about it with your parents or a leader you trust. Hey crew, you know what? Isn't it so cool that God didn't make us to be fearful? And that reminds me of the point of today, that fear can't stop me from doing what I need to do. 
Can you repeat that after me? Say, fear can't stop me from doing what I need to do. That's right, God is always with us and he helps us and gives us the strength to face our fears. And that reminds me of the verse of today. It comes from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. It says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-discipline. That means he's always with us, helping us even when we're afraid sometimes. So, right where you are, would you close your eyes, bow your head, and let's pray. God, we thank you so much that you love us and that you're always with us. We thank you that you have not given us a spirit of fear and you'll help us to not let fear stop us from doing what we need to do. You're an awesome God. We love you so much. It's in your mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, well, that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you a little bit later, TFH kids. Bye.